Hello there. What is going on, everybody? Today, I figured I'd just do something a little different. I don't do a whole lot of painting videos because that's usually just something I do for myself, but uh, I decided I wanted to do some Ahsoka clones uh, from the, I think the 332nd is the uh, unit that they are. And uh, I figured, I, you know what, like I was having a little bit of fun with it and I figured I would do some of it with you guys. So um, yeah, because these are the phase two clones and I've been painting them and uh, they're not done, but I got them to a point where I kind of wanted to do the helmets. And one of the things I deliberately did when uh, assembling these guys is I did not glue in their heads because I figured I might want to take off their heads. First off, taking off their heads allows you to get a lot of the, uh, you know, the armor underneath the neck a lot easier. And if I wanted to do some fine brush work on the heads themselves, um, I could take them off. Uh, but in this case, I can spin them around. So well, I've got my wet palette here. I've mixed some orange. I am using um, a little bit of Vallejo uh, Amaranth Red. I mixed it with a tiny, tiny little bit of Vallejo Deep Yellow. So that's what I'm using today and I've thinned it out a little bit with uh, some green stuff thinner um, and yeah and that's basically what we're gonna do so let's zoom in a little bit let's uh, so basically what I'm doing is oh let me see let me get my little thing here because so I've got uh, there we go so I am trying let me see if I can get the angle just right. Trying to... Nope, that's not going to work. There we go. Trying to get all up in here. Um, I have a uh, picture that I've been basing most of this on. But I don't want too much on my brush because I don't want it to get too wet. Um, so it's been pretty tricky getting just the right amount on here. But I think it's a really good idea if you're going to do something like this to make sure you get a picture. Um, because that's very important, right? You, so the, the, the front part of the face is definitely the easiest part. And it just kind of warps down a little bit. And of course, anything I get um, a little bit too much can always go back around. Now, if you look at the picture, it kind of gives you a front view, so you don't really see exactly, but I like to take it right up here to, to, to that line right there, and then kind of curve it down just around. There we go. So from the front, it should look kind of like that. Let's do this side now. There we go. Just have a little fun. Some happy little orange. Some happy little orange. Yeah. Oh, oh, there was a mistake. Look at that. That's a big old mistake right there. Oh, all right. So I wiped most, <laughs> wiped some of it off. Uh, I'll have to go back over that with uh, some white which I expect to have to do anyway. Had a little too much paint on my brush. Oh man, yeah. Okay, well, we'll go back over that later. Um, all right. Uh, now we're gonna do the top. So, where the top is the tricky part because we have a lot of line work here. So you can see kind of on this one, I've done some of that pattern already. Um, so one of the things that I want to start with is the diamonds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go kind of do some of the line right there. Okay. Just kind of drawing the outline for it. Okay, if you don't get it perfect, you can come back later. I'm basically just drawing a little box. <laughs> and I actually made a triangle on the other side, so I already screwed that one up. Okay. And with this, and also in the front, you're going to go straight down. Um, 
probably also want to get this rim here because this goes all the way across too. Okay. Now, I've got my little diamondy holes, referencing this one. Um, the yellow line that comes straight out does have a little bit of a, a, a jagged edge where it juts out right at the end. Now, if you don't want to go full jagged, uh, if you're like me and you're afraid it's not going to work out perfectly, you just do a little, almost like a cross piece which is going to be close to the level. That's kind of the intermediary. Um, now, there's white, a white arc that's going to come in like that. This is basically, I'm going to use a lot of negative space here. There's a piece of orange that basically goes in. And then we kind of let it go this way. So. I'm really not narrating it very well. I need a little more paint on there. I'm just trying to get that design matched. And I kind of want the white to meet up at the same point on each side. And I haven't really seen the back of the helmet, so I'm gonna do the back of the helmet orange kind of all the way around. Oh, this is not, still not glued in yet though, so it's a little loose. I'm probably gonna get some paint on my fingers. Yeah, so we're gonna go orange all the way, the rest of the way around. And now we can see, we're start, it's starting to take shape at this point. I've got to clean it up a little bit. Right up there. But yeah, we're pretty close to it. All right, so I'll compare that one to one I did before I was recording, because I'll admit it's a little harder to, I think this one was easier, because I didn't have the camera and I wasn't worried about Anybody watching me? That's why I don't make that many recording videos. And I think this is the first one I did. I think I screwed up a little bit more on the first one. Yeah, that one I've got some spots. I have to go back over that one. But uh, but yeah, and so I'll probably do the shoulders with a little bit of blue because these guys were uh, part of the 501st. Um, and they remained loyal to Ahsoka and painted their helmets and all that. Maybe if you got a spare phase two helmet for Rex, you can you can give him that one. There we go. Yeah. Now, an interesting thing is that we've got these guys with the visors, and th I don't know how they're going to do for this. So I guess we'll just have to figure it out. We'll just have to. I'm gonna try and come up with something that I think would be appropriate, right? So I think we can start with the line going all the way forward. I think that would certainly be present. And I think we would have maybe section right there. And have it maybe go like that. Something, something kind of like that. It's easier to get the back because that's all orange. Hard to paint a, a little square on here, isn't it? Or a diamond. <laughs> All right. 
do you guys, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys tend to try to mimic like a specific clone unit when you're painting your clones, or if you just kind of wing it. A lot of the times I just wing it. Oh boy, I don't know, that one's, that one's a little, a little rough. Alright, and I think I'll do the whole visor orange. Kind of like, uh, I kind of like at least keeping the faceplate the same. Maybe the visor should be white with just the orange stripe through. No, I think from here, I think we'll do follow the same pattern. Give that much of it. Oh yeah, I like that better. like that. Yeah, that's fun. All right, that'll work. Keep it straight. A little bit further back on the other guys. There we go. And then we get the top. I get in those lines too. This is not consistent on the top, so I'm gonna have to clean off the top of his helmet a little bit. But because he's got so many more ridge lines up there, it's a lot harder to. Well, I guess I could always just take the helmet off and do it that way. The diamonds just. You know what? I'm gonna just get rid of the the diamond on these guys. It's just not gonna work. Okay. Slight compromise, but I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. So I got two more to go. And we both have visors. All right, the leader, he's probably going to do the same thing. And then this guy's got the, oh, he's kind of like a normal dude. And he's got that. That's going to be tricky. It's going to be tricky because he's got this piece in, going all the way down. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to try and keep the visor like white, like the visor didn't get painted because it was like in the storage locker.
think that's going to work. So I'm just going to conveniently have the visor hiding most of the detail, which works for me. Okay, that one's done. And now it's just the leader. I could even take some liberties with the leader, but I probably won't. Because he wants to lead by example. Now I could take some other liberties with the rest of his uniform, but I think the I think he'll be the same as the Z6 for the most part. Sorry if I'm getting this thing out of the uh, camera angle. I don't normally do this. I'm certainly not a, a painting channel because I'm not a particularly good painter. But I do it for fun. That's why most of them are not... I don't, that's why I usually don't make videos of it because I just do it for me. But I thought this was a fun little thing and I figured I'd share it with you guys. <clears throat> Because some people, maybe they just want to see, hey, you know what? Maybe you just needed the motivation to say, I can do better than that. Or maybe you just needed a little motivation to get started and wanted to see what somebody else was doing. Maybe that's all. Oh, you know what? If I wasn't trying to copy the other pattern, that would be a good one with just the one line right there. so hard to get the paint to be even in those cracks. And I need to compare him to how the uh, Z6 helmet came out so I can make sure that they're similar enough. If they're minor discrepancies, I can probably justify it by saying he's the squad leader, but it's not really what I'm aiming for here. All right, so fast forward to uh, kind of finishing up on these guys a little bit. I still have a little more to do. I've got to adjust their um, guns and their bases a little bit, but I uh, went ahead and put some blue on the shoulders and trying to put like that line down their chest, like you can see right here on the Z6. And that, and that guy. But, uh, but I did all that freehand and it came out better on some than on others. Um, but I kind of have the Ahsoka pattern on the helmet there a little bit, right? You can see on that guy, kind of leaned over a little bit. They can't, I, I put a, a wash over the top of him when I was done too, and uh, it came out a little darker than I'd wanted it to be. But like this guy, the, the leader, the freehanding on his armor came out really bad. That that came out awful, awful. Look at that. That's that's nonsense, nonsense. But uh, yeah, whoo. Um, but you know what? I just do it so you can do it better, all right? Um, anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I had a good time doing this. Uh, I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Uh, I, I did some of this kind of off camera, but I just kind of want to show you guys what I was doing with the helmets. And I have glued them in now, and I think uh, I'll probably do some base work uh, on these guys, and then maybe you can find them in uh, some of my battle reports. 
All right, well, that's all I've got for you today. I want to thank you all so much for watching. And as always, have a great day.